Today, we will show you the basic process of creating and ordering a print, using the Print Online Setup tool, also called POST. POST is web-based, so you will be using the web browser on your computer or device. If, you have not already done so, go to finalworks.com. Click the main Start Order button at the top. First, you will need to select the file you want to use. Click here to select the files you want to upload to Finer Works. You can select multiple files if you like, and upload files, up to 500 megabytes in size. Here, I will select a JPEG image file, called Tiger. Next, click the Create Print button underneath your image. This will open up the Post Setup screen, where you can select the type of print product you want, and product specifics such as style, size, and even custom matting or framing. This will open up the Post Setup screen, where you can select the type of print product you want, and product specifics such as style, size, and even custom matting or framing. This is the main print setup screen. On this side is our print preview area. Currently it just shows you a large preview of the image you selected. But that will change once we have decided what we will be printing. Over here is our style and options area. Start by choosing the type of product you want. Details or a visual representation can be seen when you click the small help link. For this demo, I am going to choose Canvas as the product type. I am then going to choose the media type, which means the type of canvas. Next I choose the style. I want the canvas to be stretched and mounted so I am choosing thick stretched and mounted. Again, you can click help for more details on the different choices. Finally I am going to choose custom size. Note, custom size is usually available for our most popular types of printing. This includes canvas, fine art papers, and even metal prints. However, it may be limited on other types of printed items, such as Kodak prints, cards, and acrylic prints, to name a few. For my width, I am going to enter 26 inches. For my height, let's try 18 inches. Now, update. You can now see a simulated rendering of the composition of your print. I noticed, a very small amount of my image is not showing on the face of the canvas. This is called cropping and can happen if your image is not exactly the same proportion as the size you chose. If too much of your image is cropping, try a size more suitable. If you just need to adjust the positioning, of the cropping, you can click on the preview. This opens up the crop positioning tool. It also provides you some details about the size and resolution of the image in relationship to the print size. Anything outside of the red box won't be printed. I see it is just a small amount. However, if I needed to, I could adjust the positioning of the cropping by dragging the red box. Framing is optional, but I think I will choose for my print to include a frame. I can select a frame by clicking on the frame and matte button. This will open the frame and matte choices. It's important to note, only frames or matting suitable for this print style will be made available. Since this is a stretched and mounted canvas, and dependent upon the frame choice I make, some options like matting or acrylic glass might be limited. 
In this instance, I am choosing a canvas floater frame which is ideal for stretched and mounted canvas prints. Once I am satisfied with my frame choice, I can add it to my shopping cart. If I want to add another version of this print, I can continue modifying it, then add it to my cart. Or, I can click the view cart button where I will be able to check out and submit my order.